where was I for more than 100 days. No videos, no new ideas and no time for this, because I spend all my evenings with my friends in little company. I fell into this trap because I saw a couple of videos with this game on TikTok and I decided to try. We started with my friend with just zero understanding of how to play and what we had to do. Firstly, we didn't understand how to use the terminal, how important weather is in this game and how to order some tools to live on this planet a little bit longer. After that we finally started to buy some flashlights and tried to loot as much as possible. But yeah, we didn't hear anything about Eclipse. And that's what happened. <laughs> we didn't even notice how much little company pulled us in. Each time we encountered either new monsters or new confusing mazes. The game literally squeezes the whole palette of emotions out of you, from euphoria, when you manage to escape from all the evils of the planet and take a lot of loot, to explosive adrenaline, when you have to run away from terrifying monsters between the same corridors. So we had a very funny time. We made some personal records of the quota, pranked each other and danced with this banger. Little Company successfully combined all that we love in games. Recognizable design, some pop art and the grotesque models, just at first glance, look funny and even stupid. But when you are too late and going back to the ship after 9 pm, it is not funny anymore. Interesting gameplay, simple goals and cool gameplay features make it a top seller game. Little Company is the first game where I didn't use Discord to have a connection with my friends. Because in-game communication is an important part of the game experience. You can't hear your folks when they go far away. You have to use a walkie-talkie. In some modifications, monsters can duplicate the sounds of voices of your friends and so on. music and sound effects. Just a brilliant sound design. The sounds in the rooms are really creepy. All monsters have their sounds that you can easily recognize from a distance, if it is not a flower man. I can't forget to notice the music of the delivery ship and the intro music. That is just a game. Emotions. We have tons of fun. A little company creates a sandbox that you can fill with your experience and emotions. You can express all your reactions and you will, because this game can and will frighten you. Make you feel anxious, anticipate dangers and develop intuition. I'm wondering if the updates will make this game even more entertaining and add some new experience. This is a very good indie project that has received deservedly high praise from players. I hope the developers don't stop there. So, don't make my mistakes. This game is very addicting. <laughs>